What's up Squirrel Squad, Sean here, and today we're going to be taking a look at uh, the latest Smogon tier changes for this month. Um, we're going to be looking at which Pokemon uh, rised and fell uh, in the different tiers. Uh, and we have this handy dandy little picture right here showing us uh, all the tier changes that have happened. We also have some pictures for uh, the usage stats for Pokemon in OU as well as uh, all the other tiers uh, all courtesy of the Smogon Twitter account so uh, shout out to them for that uh, but yes so uh, if you guys uh, do enjoy this video uh, I'd greatly appreciate if you know leave a like and all that that would uh, really help me out and uh, also help show me that uh, you guys are into this sort of stuff because uh, I do plan to have a lot more uh, competitive focused uh, videos coming out in the very near future so hope you guys are looking forward to that uh, but without further ado I think we can just uh, just hop right into this with the the new tier changes, uh, starting with the Pokemon that have risen up. So, uh, starting uh, with the monster that rose up from UU to OU, uh, first up is Bisharp. Um, and, you know, it's it's not that hard to see why it wasn't OU uh, in the first place. Also, I, get, I should probably point out uh, that... Um, there hasn't been a tier change for the past uh, three months, uh, which is usually uh, how long, uh, how frequent tier change, how frequently tier changes happen. Uh, but uh, when Crown Tundra came out, they, since so many new Pokemon were dropped in the game, uh, they were doing uh, tier changes uh, a lot more frequently to try to like. I guess uh, level it out, so to speak, like just so they could get all the the lower tier mods down to the lower tiers quicker. Uh, but that that had a whole other uh, <laughs> impact, and the, all all the tiers were super wonky for a while, uh, and so that it's it's taken some time uh, for them to to adjust. Uh, so stuff like uh, you know what what was in lower tiers because of the messed up tiers before uh, you know that's all that is slowly starting to change on top of uh, also a bunch of Pokemon that got banned uh, from OU as well as other tiers uh, making them more viable which is why the usage has risen up uh, case in point with Bisharp uh, because really no one was using him before because uh, before uh, you know you had mods like Ur Urshifu and Feromosa running around and stuff and just you know, close combating everything which isn't great for Bisharp who's four times weak to fighting uh, but since mods like those have been uh, now banned uh, that makes Bisharp a lot more viable uh, a lot easier to use in OU uh, and, you know it's not it's just it's not hard to see why I mean, Bisharp's always been uh, a good Pokemon uh, gets stabbed sucker punch which uh, deals nicely with Dragapult uh, who has, as you can see is one of the most common mods in the tier right now uh, also stab iron head uh, can deal with Clefable no problem another uh, highly used mon uh, it's just, it's just always been really solid, you know, just, you know, it's just the regular, you know, tried and true, Swords Dance, Knock Off, Iron Head, Sucker Punch, it's, it's really all you need, and, like, it's the job done, and I mean, like, j just looking at the, the usage, like, there's a lot uh, that Bisharp can hit really hard, so, uh, really not surprising to see it rising up. Uh, next up is Kiram, which is, uh, another Pokemon that, you know, like, like Bisharp, it struggled with all the, the fighting types that were around um, until they got banned. Also, Magearna, when that was around before it was banned, also uh, was kind of an issue for this mon, but um, 
since they're they've been banned uh been rising up now uh you know Kyrium, another great mon that you know just hits really hard dragon ice great coverage uh you can give it specs you can run scarf or uh, heavy duty boots so you don't take those uh stealth rock damage and i mean you know again like if you look at like Mons in a tier like Landorus and Garchomp and uh, again Dragapult if it is running uh, Scarf Kyrim can deal with those pretty nicely. Also deals with Rillaboom who is a uh, major pain <laughs> but uh, yeah just uh, you know like Bishard just not surprising seeing it rise up now that it's got some some room to breathe after uh, after the other busted Mons got banned. Uh, you know, now it can do its thing more easily in OU, uh, and does it pretty well, you know, Kyrim's a great mod. Uh, Skarmory, also rising up to OU, um, this is, I guess, a little surprising to me, because, like, you can see here, like, Corviknight is being used, uh, so much, and it's really good, uh, Corviknight kind of does a lot of the same stuff Skarmory does, but uh, to be fair, Skarmory also does get access to hazards like uh, Stealth Rock and Spikes, which is always very nice. Uh, and you know, uh, while Corviknight does have stuff like U Turn, uh, you know, just this is the Steel Flying typing is uh, really great to have on. So uh, you know, it looks like Corviknight got a little got a little competition going on. Uh, you know, you can see it's not, Skarmory's not being used a whole lot, but it is being used enough to be, uh, OU by usage. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, it's kind of interesting to see, um, more people, uh, leaning towards Skarmory, it seems. Maybe we'll see, uh, a few more, a little bit more Skarmory than Corviknight, uh, as the, as the weeks go on. We'll see, we'll see how long, uh that goes uh but yes uh now uh, another mon going up to ou from uu slow king uh which uh <laughs> if, you, if you look at the usage uh you can see uh people have also been using slow bro and uh galarian slow king so uh <laughs> we just got all the all the slow brothers together just chilling rocking in ou uh except poor poor old Galarian slow bro. She's didn't didn't quite make the cut, but uh you know Slow King, not really surprising because uh you know Slow Bro also uh been used in the in OU a lot, been OU for a while now. Uh which, you know, if you've, if you've played you know you know what Slow Bro does, just you know, teleport, future sight, you know, all that stuff. And Slow King can do all that too, but it's a little more Especially defensive than Slowbro is, who is more so physically defensive. So, uh, just a nice uh, option to have, you know, if you want something that can take special hits better. If you're looking for special wall rather than a physical wall, uh, you can just use Slow King for that. So, it uh, makes sense why it's OU as well. Uh, these just these fat boys, they're just taking everything. They're just teleporting out. Uh, Boy, well, uh, maybe a mon that could help you steal with that is, uh, the other mon rose up to OU, my boy, Zero Aura, uh, he's back in here, uh, I mean, Zero Aura, you know, he's just always been a really solid, solid mon, right, he's, he's fast as hell, faster than Dragapult, even, so that's, that's, uh, really helpful, you, know, you can just hit that thing with a knockoff or whatever and deal with that very easily. Uh, like I mentioned, you know, being a strong electric type that can take out uh, bulky waters in the tier is always, always nice to have. Uh, not to mention, it just gets a really good, solid coverage all around. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why it's uh, rising up now specifically. Um, I'm trying to think what's been banned. Uh, in the last few months, but I don't know. I mean, it's just, either way, it's not 
it makes sense why people will be using Zero Or because he's a good mon. Just, like I said, fast as hell, great coverage. You know, it just it gets the job done. So, I mean, you know, you can see it's not it's not seeing a ton of usage, but you know, people are using it. You know, because it's solid. Uh, but yeah. And uh, anyway, moving on to uh, are you up to OU is my boy Magnazone, who really it should not have been are you in the first place. I don't know what was going on with that. Uh, that was that's just disrespectful, honestly. That they would do my boy like that. I can't I can't believe that. That's crazy. But uh, he's finally back where he belongs up in OU. You know, doing doing what he's always done, trapping these steel types. You know, Corp Knight, you know, Skarmory, better watch out. My man's back in business, uh, can still, you know, sort of deal with Ferrothorn, even though Hidden Power Fire is gone. Uh, can't beat it with, like, Body Press and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just Magnus, all right? Like I say, he does what he's always done. Uh, and, like, you know, he just, he just really, sh he should have been OU from the get-go. I don't, I don't get why people weren't using him. I mean, I guess, you know, stuff like like Fair Mimosa and Urshifu and all that were a bit of an issue, but still, that's come on, can't can't have Magnazone and RU, bro. What was going on with that? That was that was ridiculous. But he's he's back where he belongs, so all all is right with the world. Uh, so next up, uh, the months that rose up to RU. Uh, first up, we got these three who are all uh, NUBL, but went to RU uh, and Shout Sharpedo and Toxtricity. Uh, and, you know, uh, we can look at, uh, are you usage? Um, as you see, Toxicity is actually in the top 10, which is pretty wild. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's you know, clearly easy to see these guys were already, you know, pretty solid, uh, I mean, relative to where they were in the tiers since they were, they were banned from NU, but, uh, it just seems now people are finally starting to use them in RU. Uh, and I mean, uh, if we look at RU right quick, uh, you know, we can see um, uh, Toxtricity is kind of uh, a surprise for me since uh, RU already has like some solid electric types like Zerkatry and uh, Raikou. Run around, bleh, running around, uh, so it's kind of uh, interesting to see Toxtricity rise up, especially since the Zerkatry and Raikou are also in the top ten. Uh, so I guess people have just really been feeling these uh, s strong electric types in Are You? I mean, hey, you know, uh, I mean, if you look, I don't think there's that many. Uh, that many well you now this is there are some some pretty solid ground types but uh i mean to be fair a lot of the, the all all three of those electric types do have some ways of dealing with ground types so uh i can kind of get around that uh but uh, speaking of ground types uh well actually well we'll get to that in a sec but uh sharpedo also rising up uh I mean, how much seismitoad there is, that's a little surprising. Uh, also, Zarud being the most used mon uh, in the tier, you know, kind of interesting that uh, people people would uh, be using Sharpedo more. Uh, but I guess, you know, it does fill, um, fill a role in tier if people are using it. Uh, I'm not the most familiar with how you, uh, I haven't played it that much recently uh but uh you know Sharpedo uh here for a reason I'm not sure exactly how much he's being used because the stats for the lower tiers only show the top 10 uh but uh if people are using him then uh must have his place there uh and Mian Xiao also in RU uh which you know I mean is just a really solid fighting type uh Actually, uh, I'm looking here. I don't see many, many fighting types in RU. Uh, well, yeah, my my boy Heracross, who is pretty good, and Gobalion, who's 
uh, you know, really solid mod. He's also in the top 10, but uh, Mian Xiao does actually seem really good in the tier, especially uh, if you're running uh, Scarf or something like that. Uh, deals very nicely with Zerud. Uh, you can just like high jump kick that thing, or even U turn, which probably would do more damage actually. Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe a high jump kick if it's if you're running reckless might do more. But uh, either way, just Mian Xiao seems like a really solid mod in the tier. Uh, if you are running reckless, you can break through stuff like Steelix and Cabalion with high jump kick, uh, and against Scarf, getting a uh, sort of deal with Noivern. I mean, you don't have a lot of coverage to hit it, but still, uh, yeah, Mian Xiao just. Always been a really solid, solid fighting type, uh, and you know, nice to have one in a tier where uh, not many other fighting types can cut it really. Um, but uh, on the topic of other Pokemon Rose to are you? Uh, speaking of the electric types we mentioned before, we got Gastrodon rising up uh, to are you from NU, uh, which you know totally makes sense since. Like I said, three of the top ten mons are electric types, so uh, and you can see Seismitoad up there too, probably uh, to try to deal with these uh, these electric types running around. Same with Steelix, so you know it's not not too surprising then that people would be using uh, more bulky ground types in the tier. Uh, also, you know, Storm Drain just nice for dealing with. Uh, the water types, especially Volcanion, who is the very scary threat in the tier, but uh, you know, Storm Drain really helps you deal with that pretty easily. Uh, also helps out with Sharpedo, which is uh, risen up in the tier as well. Uh, and yeah, it's just uh, just Gastrodon doing what it always does, you know, while on the electric types and the water types. Uh, it's a little surprising to see the uh, Gastrodon rising up and Seismitoads in the tier as well. Uh, he basically does the same thing, uh, and you know he's in the top five most used. So you know, but you know, I guess there's just uh, people. I guess you just need some some options. You know, every then now and then, maybe maybe Seismitoad doesn't always fit. Maybe you need a Gastrodon instead. Which you know that uh, that could be the case. So uh, it makes sense to have Gastrodon. Uh, in are you uh, right next to Gastrodon? Another mon that rose up, uh, Glycopod. Uh, and you know, Glycopod's always been just a, a hard hitter in the lower tiers, really. Uh, and as you can see, the most used mon is Zerud, which uh, <laughs> a first impression from Glycopod can deal with that thing no problem. So uh, that's very handy to have in the tier. Uh, you know, again, these these water types like Seismitoad and Gastrodon running around uh, do make Glycopod's life a little little harder. But uh, you know, uh, Glycopod can um, still hits a lot of tier hard with first impression. Um, Banded Liquidation is also really strong, although uh, it does seem like there's a lot in the tier who can take. Liquidation fairly easily. Uh, a lot of bulky waters. Uh, but, you know, Glycopod can also uh, offer spike support, which uh, I don't see a ton of great spikers. Well, yeah, 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 Klefki actually. So, either there are some good spikers in RU, but uh, Glycopod is just uh, another one, another option to have. Uh, and yeah, I mean. Just, just first impression, really. That's, that's, that's like the Lysopod's whole thing. You just hit hard, hit first with that priority. Um, and, you know, looking at the tier, it seems like uh, does that pretty well. You know, doing what it always does. But uh, um, uh, next up from PUBL to RU's Rose Ray, which is this is just another one that's just shameful, really. Like. Like you can just see the the effects of the messed up tears, um, like this, like the fact that 
Rose Ray was ever PU to begin with is just that's just that's disrespectful. I can't believe that. Rose Ray deserves better than that. But you know, people are starting to realize that now, finally. Uh is rising up to RU, uh, which Rose Ray seems like actually a really solid pick. Uh and are you a nice alternative if you don't want Zarude as your grass type? Uh, maybe if you want something a little more special, because uh, it deals with a lot of these bulky waters like Seismic Toad, Gastrodon, uh, Milotic, uh, freaking, yeah, Suicune running around in tier 2. Uh, so, like, uh, a Life Orb Leaf Storm from Rose Ray can deal with all those pretty handily. Uh, and also, another Mon who can set up spikes in the tier. Uh, which is always handy. Also can set up toxic spikes, so uh, that's also very convenient to have. Um, and yeah, looking at RU, there's not really any other grass types aside from Zarude, so uh, it is nice to have like an alternative, a more uh, specially orientated attacker like Rose Raid in the tier. Um, and also the poison coverage helps Deal with fairies like Togekiss, it's also being used a lot. Uh, and Gardevoir, uh, although you yeah, do have to be careful about the psychic psychic typing on Gardevoir, you don't want to get hit, Psy Shock, or nothing. Uh, but yeah, the you know, Rose Raid finally getting the love it deserves. Uh, about time, if you ask me. Uh, uh, now moving on to the rises up to end you. Uh, First, we got the uh, rises up from BL, uh, Xpod, Surfetch, Doros. Uh, I get like uh, I'm really not that familiar with the lower tiers, so uh, probably don't have much to say on these guys. But you know, all these all these dudes, you know, pretty strong attackers uh, considering the tier that they're in. Uh, makes sense why they got banned from PU, and also makes sense why people would start using them in NU just because they're strong. And you can see Surfetch is actually in the top 10 in NU, so, uh, you know, he's, he's putting in the work. Deals with the uh, number one, Copper Raja, pretty handily, just, you know, close combat, that thing. Uh, and, you know, if we take a look at NU real quick. Uh, if we look through the tier, uh, not a, not really a whole ton of fighting types really other than Surfetch, so, uh, you know, uh, not unlike Mianxia rising up in RU, uh, makes sense, you know, people, people need some fighting types to use and, you know, Surfetch is right there. Uh, actually kind of interesting how a lot of pretty solid, uh, fighting types have fallen down pretty low, um. So people have been looking, looking for others to use, uh, use a little higher up in the tiers. It seems. Uh, so for Surfetch making the cut there. Uh, I mean, Surfetch is stupid strong, so not that surprising. Also gets pretty solid coverage. Uh, and then Tauros and Exploud. Uh, I mean, you know, there's like I said, they're pretty strong attackers up. Uh, X plot with Scrappy uh, is very nice to have. Uh, let's see, hit the ghosts in the tier, no problem. Uh, also has really solid coverage all around. Uh, yeah, it's just you know throw specs on him, and he's doing some some big damage, you know. So nice to see, nice to see the BL skin some love, you know. Always, you know they they just they just stuck in in limbo essentially, you know. So you know they don't get they don't get that much love too often, but you know the the, the boys are coming up, you know. Uh, and then uh, other mons rising up to end you. Uh, uh, we have Arctivish, uh, Braviary, Alolan, Sandslash, Talonflame, Vaporeon, Roros, and Vanilla. So uh, I I really haven't touched end you at all, so I don't really know what the current state of the meta is. And that tier, but uh, looking at the rises, uh, these, uh, these snow warning fonts like Roars and Vanillix, uh, and the rise of these slush rush fonts like Arctivish and Sandslash, uh, it would seem that uh, hail teams are on the rise in the tier, uh, which I'm not entirely sure why that is, but 
uh, now I guess you know if you can use them why not you know now that now that you know bonds have slush rush as an ability you're actually a decent option for Hale uh, you know of course you also got Aurora Veil on top of that uh, I guess it's just a nice option to have in the tier uh, and then Vaporeon also rising up uh, in and you uh, look at the stats it was actually one of the most used mons in Pew as well same with uh, Talonflame actually uh, but they both uh, ended up in NU uh, so I guess people people were needing them in that tier as well um, and you know uh, what do they got in NU uh, I mean Vaporeon's just always been really nice wall uh, I guess you know stuff like star meat uh, salazzle uh, what else they got uh, Kaparaja, I guess the, to some extent Vaporeon can roll uh, unless they have power whip uh, but I mean yeah and like it's just another model for wish support uh, and also it does deal with the the rising uh, ice types pretty well unless they have freeze dry uh, and then the uh, the birds rising up as as well uh, Braviary and Talonflame uh, you know, I guess uh, I guess Enyu was just lacking a little in some nice offensive flying types uh, you know Braviary and uh, Talonflame filled that role pretty nicely uh, Braviary also uh, giving some defiant support uh, if people are running webs teams or anything like that which is always nice uh, and, you know Talonflame while it's not as good as it used to be since they nerfed Gale Wings you know it is still really fast uh, and you know now that Heavy Duty Boots is in the game it can do a lot more than it could last gen uh, so yeah, uh, again, I, I, I'm really not super familiar with the lower tiers. Uh, maybe if anyone watching <clears throat> in the comments uh, knows a little bit more than I do, uh, can fill us all in uh, on you know, why these mons are being used more. Uh, but anywho, uh, on to the rises to PU uh, from ZUBL, uh, Scrafty, and Toxicroak rose up. Uh, again, like I said, a lot of fighting types uh, have been falling down, which now I'm thinking about it, I feel like that might have been like a, a chain reaction <laughs> that happened like uh, when he had stuff like Feramosa and Urshifu running around in OU and like they were just like completely like, just obliterating everything and they kind of made other fighting types obsolete. So, you know, people started using other fighting types less and then those fighting types fell down to lower tiers and then those those fighting types were busted in those lower tiers and then people stopped using the other fighting types and they just kept kept falling down and down uh so maybe that's why there were so many fighting types down in these lower tiers but uh yeah as we as we see they're starting to rise up again uh those crafty and toxic croak not uh not quite good enough to make it to uh, tiers higher up like NU and RU, uh, you know, they do both have kind of pesky four times weaknesses, you know, Scrafty being weak to Fairy, Toxicroak weak to Psychic, uh, so that is a little rough for them, uh, but, you know, at least they're starting to be used more and starting to rise up, uh, higher into tiers they probably should be in, uh, and then, uh, from ZU to PU, uh, Lycanroc, uh, regular, and or midday, I guess. And then Palo Sand also going up to PU. Uh, uh, like again, not. I really don't play this tier, so I'm not super sure why. Uh, I guess Lycanroc rise, rising up might have been the deal with Talonflame was being used a lot, which would make sense. But now Talonflame is NU now, so might start seeing less of that around if that's the case. Same case with Braviary, uh, now that that's NU. Uh, and Pal Palo Sand, I really, I, I'm not sure what what's up with that. I, I guess uh, with the electric types running around, having a nice ground type, to deal with that. 
uh, could be part of the reason. Uh, so who knows? But yeah. Uh, so that's it for the rises. Now let's get to the the juicy part, folks, which is the drops from the the higher tiers, uh, which uh, is always what I really uh, am looking forward to seeing. So first off, we got uh, Galarian Zapdos dropping from OU to UUBL. Uh, dropping down to BL and not UU since it was previously banned from UU before. Uh, uh, which, if you look at OU, uh, it is kind of tough out there for, for Galarian Zapdos. Uh, we got stuff like Landorus and Corvin Knight and Toxapex and Zapdos running around. It's, it's kind of tough out there, you know. It's uh, my poor guys trying. Um, uh, you know, but I feel like Z uh, Zapdos is, uh, he's a pretty solid mon, you know, with a choice band, uh, Braper in a close combat, you can do a lot, uh, but it does also kind of struggle, uh, from competition with Talucha as, like, far as, uh, putting a fighting flying on your team goes, uh, and also since people have been using Bisharp more, uh, Bisharp can also fill the the role of a defiant mon uh, for webs teams over uh, Zapdos. Although I do feel like Zapdos is still really solid on sticky webs, uh, not just for the defiant to you know to deal with defog, but also because I feel like you know with webs up, I feel like Zapdos has a really good speed tier. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just it's just kind of hard for the guy. You know, there's a lot in the tier. Uh, could deal with it pretty easily uh so you know he's kind of struggling out here uh unfort uh very unfort uh but now uh moving on to the jobs from ou to uu uh first up is buzzwell uh and this really isn't that surprising because the the only reason people were using buzzwell and ou in the first place was uh to deal with urshifu and that was around uh because Buzzwell resisted both of its stabs, uh, and also was pretty bulky, so it was a, one of the better uh, ch checks to that guy when he was around, but now Shifu's banned, so makes sense why no one's using Buzzwell anymore, because it doesn't really deal with a whole lot else in the tier. Uh, so yeah, now he's down in UU. Uh, I'm not sure if, he, uh, if he's going to be uh, how good he's gonna be in UU. Uh, I guess we'll see. I don't know if he's gonna be busted or anything. I kind of kind of doubt it. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, but speaking of Pokemon who will be busted in UU, uh, my my guy Latios has fallen down, uh, which is just just so unfortunate for my boy. Like he he, he got he got all these all these new things in. Uh, in Sword and Shield, got Mystical Fire, which is you know, better than Hidden Power Fire ever was, and also got Aura Sphere. So we got all these all these nice things to deal with uh, the Pokemon that used to used to give him so much trouble, but it's, it's still not enough for him to be OU. Uh, that's tough. It's really tough for my guy. Uh, and I mean, I guess if we look, uh, you know, there was kind of some stiff competition from dragon types you know you got stuff like dragapult and garchomp being ran a lot uh in the tier also the the top who's running around as usual uh plus clef having a bunch of fairy types in the tier uh doesn't make life any easier for latios uh but even still i just feel kind of find it surprising that he would drop down to uu uh because i mean latios has always been a great pick and you know I mean like well, there are a lot of other great dragons in OU I mean I feel like that's still I think Gladios can still do a lot in the tier uh, I guess people are just kind of sleeping on him uh, interesting if, if we look uh, we can see Hydreigon also uh, came close to falling off at OU people are starting to use him less so I uh, guess I don't know it's just tough, just tough for a uh, for a special attack and dragon type out here, uh, down down pretty bad. 
Uh, but uh, as for Latios being Yu Yu, uh, I don't think there's any chance of this thing lasting uh, in the tier uh, since Latios uh, got banned from Yu Yu uh, not too long ago. And you know, if that thing was too much for the tier, then I think Latios is definitely going to be way too much. Uh, so yeah, this this is not. I don't I don't see this thing lasting. I give it like maybe a week before it's banned. Uh, that's my prediction. Cause this thing just seems like it'd be just cracked in in UU. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. But uh, Moltres also falling down um, from OU, uh, which I'm not super sure why that is. Cause I feel like Moltres still uh, deals with a lot. Uh, in the tier, you know, deals with Rillaboom really nicely, which is uh, always nice. Uh, can deal with Kartana to some extent. Um, and, you know, uh, you know, people have been using Zapdos a lot, and Zapdos and Moltres do uh, so do a lot, of the, a lot of similar things, you know, as far as just being a bulky uh, flying type who can defog and stuff. Uh, but I don't know, like, I, I still feel like, while Zapdos is really good, I still feel like there's room for Moltres to do a lot in the tier 2, uh, you know, deals with Excadrill, who's, uh, got surprisingly low usage, if I, if I do say so myself, it's a little surprising, uh, see him down there, uh, Moltres can also deal with, uh, Metal Metal, depending on the set, if they don't have, like, uh, Thunder Punch or Rock Slide, um, and it's, it's, I don't know, man. I feel like Moltres still still can do a lot uh, in the tier, so not super sure why people have been people have been haven't been using it much. But I mean, I guess I guess there's just a lot of competition for um, for you know bulky birds in the tier. You know, you got Zapdos and Corviknight and stuff. So maybe that's why. Uh, but interesting to see what how Moltres is gonna do in UU. Uh, not sure if it's gonna be broken since uh, defensive Pokemon rarely uh, get classified as broken. Uh, but uh, we'll see see what it does uh, in UU. Probably the same stuff it did in OU. But um, you know, uh, just defog, scorching sands, just burden everything, all that. Uh, and Happy Duty Boots really has been just a great, uh, great help to Pokemon like Moltres in general, uh, just making them a lot better. Uh, but anywho, uh, moving on from OU to RU, uh, Barrascuta dropped, uh, dropped quite a bit, uh, which uh, I guess isn't that surprising since uh, you see Barrascuta mostly on Rain, and Rain is. Uh, is kind of a niche play style, although I do feel like it is fairly consistent. Uh, Mons like Rillaboom do give it a lot of problems, though, so that is uh, definitely an issue. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like it's not like people aren't using Barrascuta in the tier because uh, they are. If they are running Rain, that's probably the main Swift Swim mom they have, uh, or they might have something like uh, Seismitoad or Kingdra or something like that. Uh, but, you know, it just, people don't really use rain enough, uh, in OU for it to be OU by usage, at least not anymore. Uh, so that explains why it kind of fell down a bit. Um, but as for how it'd be in RU, uh, I feel like Barrascuta is, you know, even without the rain, which is re really where it shines, I feel like being in the lower tiers, it does have... Uh, a lot of potential because it is still fast as hell and uh, really strong and I think uh, pretty sure Barrascuta was RU before in the past so I think I feel like Barrascuta can hold its own in the tier uh, pretty sure it is the fastest thing in RU currently uh, so that's always nice uh, of course there are choice scarfers you gotta watch out for but um, yeah I think it can do pretty well uh can uh, run Ice Fang for stuff like Noivern running around. Uh, should be very convenient. Close combat is uh, nice to deal with Zerud. 
uh, unless it's like a scarf or something, in which case probably don't want to mess with that. Um, and, you know, the, the, the electric types do give it some trouble. Uh, also, Seismitoad and Gastrodon being around uh, do give it a tough time. Uh, but I don't know. I feel like I feel like Barrasuda could do something in a tier. Uh, nice to deal with Incineroar. Uh, close combat can just deck obstacle no problem. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like Barrasuda can do something in this tier uh, even without rain. Uh, but uh, moving on for the drops down from RU to NU, we have Entei and Glastriere. Uh, so uh, take a look at RU. Uh, so uh, like I said, these bulky water types uh, they are they are kind of an issue for mons like Entei and Glastriere, uh, for that matter. Uh, do make life kind of tough, you know. Seismitoad, uh, Milotic, Suicu, and all those guys uh, is kind of tough for them. Uh, not to mention, you know, stuff like Rhyperia, which gives Entei some trouble. Plus, you know, both these mons are, are kind of, uh, I guess, uh, if not, I guess not really niche so much as they are just kind of one trick ponies, uh, literally, in Glastria's case, but. Uh, yeah, you know, they both just kind of do the same, uh, same shtick. You know, Entei is usually choice banded. You, know, you usually see Clash Trier with the SD, uh, and then like I still crash high horsepower stuff like that. Uh, and they're both not super fast, so it just does kind of give them, uh, makes it hard for them to to wall break and stuff. Uh, but. Uh, as for how they'll be in NU, uh, I feel like Entei could actually do a lot in NU. Uh, you know, it can easily deal with Kaparaja, who is currently the most used bottom tier. Uh, you know, a banded Sacred Fire can <laughs> deal with that, no problem. And same with Rotom Cut as well, it's also used a lot. Uh, stuff like Sylveon and Vaporeon is kind of an issue, but, uh, you know, Against Banded Sacred Fire, you can deal with Bronzong, no problem. Uh, and if we can look right quick, what else is in the tier uh, that Entei could uh, do a lot to? Uh, you got my boy Blastoise down here, which, you know, that that does kind of make stuff tough for Entei, you know, because, you know, he, no way he could beat my boy, but uh, still, you got stuff like Celebi. Uh, Decidueye, Excavalier, friggin, uh, Glastrier as well, who's now in the tier, uh, and just, you know, uh, these ice types rising up. I feel like Entei can do a lot just by clicking a banded Sacred Fire, honestly. Uh, I guess we'll see uh, how, how he does. I'm not sure if he's going to be ban worthy. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Uh, again, I don't really play NU, so I'm not entirely sure, but uh, it does look like Entei does quite a bit in this tier. Uh, so we'll see how that, how that goes. Uh, as for Glastriere, um, I'm not entirely sure because while he, he is very strong. Uh, you can see 145 attack, uh, and he does get solid coverage. He is just painfully slow, uh, and... Yeah, I do like stuff like Mantine can kind of deal with them uh, without too much trouble. Uh, you know, there are some uh, stuff like Vaporeon as well. If they're running physically defensive, I feel like can take Glastrier on. Uh, so I don't know. I think I think he'll definitely be less less of an issue. Uh, and Bronzong as well, running around can deal with that because you know got Levitate, so I don't worry about high horsepower. Uh, and you resist Icicle Crash, so that's not really an issue. Uh, so yeah, and uh, Araquanid can freaking uh, can deal with him without much issue since he resists most of his coverage, so uh, I really don't think Glastria is going to be too much of an issue in this tier. Uh, 
We'll see. Uh, I guess it depends on how much uh, how much people use the mods that can deal with Clash Dre, but uh, I don't know. I feel like you might find like a nice, comfortable niche here in NU. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out. Uh, and then last, but uh, possibly least, we have uh, Articuno dropping from PU to ZU. Uh, poor guy. I mean, you know, just not... Articuno just not really the great mon uh, in general, you know, just bad defensive typing, uh, can't really do a lot, doesn't have any of the same perks that Moltres or Zapdos does, uh, you know, they got stuff like you know, static and flame bodies, so you know, they can status stuff if they get hit, Z Articuno doesn't have anything like that, if they, if that was a thing, if they had like an ability that like, if you hit Articuno, you had a chance to get frozen. That would be wild if that was a thing. Maybe if he had that, he'd be he'd be usable. But uh, as it stands, he does not. Uh, I mean, he can you know defog and roost and stuff. But like like I said, with such a such a poor defensive typing, you know, it's not it's not gonna do that very well. Uh, it's, just, it's just tough for the guy, you know. Uh, you, you can see the difference in like a mod like Articuno versus small treads, you know, like before they were both uh, weak to stealth rock, uh, but you know, now that they have heavy duty boots, uh, now it's really freed up Moltres to be a lot more viable, uh, and it can be uh, part of in part because of its uh, pretty solid typing. Uh, you know, barring the rock weakness, but again, with heavy duty boots, it's not really an issue. Uh, but you know, that's just it's just, just not enough for poor Articuno. Still, still doesn't have enough to to cut it and be be as as cool as his two two bird bros. That's just it's just unfortunate, really. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's it for all the tier changes this month. So. Uh, I guess that's going to be the video, uh, so thank you all for watching, uh, and like I said, if you are looking forward to more competitive uh, showdown-oriented uh, content uh, on the channel, then, you know, leaving a like, leaving a comment would all be very helpful, uh, and I hope you guys are excited for more videos like this in the future. Uh, so yeah, with all that being said, I'm going to go dip. So, uh, again, thank you all for watching, and hopefully I'll see you, uh, in the next video, whenever that is. Deuces.